safe now. Uh, and so we want to keep her that way. We start tonight with a disturbing story out of Tallapoosa County. A 12 year old girl escapes her kidnapper after being tied up for a week. This according to the sheriff's office. Two bodies also found inside a house south of Dadeville where she was being held. Fox 2 News reporter Ariel Mallory has been working the story for us tonight. Ariel, the sheriff says the victim was found just wandering mm. down the road. Yeah, that's right, Shelby and Byron. A couple driving found her. They called 911, and that's when deputies made a horrific discovery. Deputies say Jose Pascal Reyes kidnapped the 12 year old girl and had two decomposing bodies in his house. It's you know, horrendous to, to have a crime scene of this nature. A shocking phone call for Tallapoosa County deputies Monday morning after a couple finds a 12 year old girl wandering down this road in Dadeville. According to court documents, the child spent a week in this house tied up to a bed and drugged. Sheriff Jimmy Abbott says she managed to escape by chewing through her restraints. We, we stand by that affidavit to be able to procure the kidnapping warrants. And I would say uh, she's a hero. She's safe now. Uh, and so we want to keep her that way. U.S. Marshals and the Auburn Police Department took 37 year old Jose Pascal Reyes into custody Monday in Auburn. He's charged with first degree kidnapping in addition to more serious charges for the two decomposing bodies found at his home. We're looking at multiple counts of capital murder along with uh, kidnapping in the first degree. And of course, once we continue and finish our investigation, I feel certain that several more charges will follow. The sheriff said the child wasn't considered a missing person. He also said the couple who found her likely saved her life. You know, it's we always say, say something, say something. And, and it's one of those things that, you know, you really don't know what you're actually doing, but you're helping that young child uh, when you're stopping there. It's still unclear who the 12 year old girl is and if investigators investigators haven't identified the bodies live tonight in the news center, Errol Mallory, Fox 10 News.